Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Anthony Daniels and welcome to the Five Minute Facebook Ministry. Today we're coming out of John chapter 16, verse 33. John 16 and 33. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Again, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Now this is Jesus talking to his disciples just before he was arrested and taken away to be crucified. And he's telling them of, of uh, things that they're going to go through uh, of his upcoming uh, crucifixion. And he's kind of telling them what's going to happen to them. And he's going to go away for a while, you know, but they will, and they can't go, but they'll see him again. They're not quite understanding what he's telling them, but he finishes off this chapter saying, I have told you these things. He's kind of, he's telling them what to expect. He's telling them what's going to happen so that they may have peace so that in him, they would have peace. He said, so that in me, you may have peace. See, Jesus gives us a peace. If we stay with him, if we stay in his word, he gives us a peace that nothing that happens in this world can disturb. And he goes on to say, in this world, you will have trouble. So as Christians, you know, we, we can't expect to live a trouble free life. Jesus says in this world, you will have trouble and we will continue to have trouble. Even today, we will always have trouble in this world. We'll have trouble battling our flesh, which is which is constantly uh, designed to do evil things. No matter who you are or where you are, you know your 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 your, your flesh desires things of the world. And uh, but the thing is, is, by reading your word and praying and stand, you can put your flesh down on a daily basis, and your flesh can't rear up like it used to. But 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 Jesus tells us to take heart. I have overcome the world. And when he says he has overcome the world, he his sacrifice and his resurrection has defeated everything of the world. Okay, so whatever trouble that we're going through, whatever situation that we're going through, Jesus has already gotten us the victory. We just need to we just need to continue to trust him. You know, when we go through things and you know we're in situations. And things don't seem the way we would like to seem the way we want them to be. They don't look well. Doesn't look like it's going to end favorable. Doesn't look like it's going the way we want it to happen. People aren't acting the way we want them to act. You know, uh, we just got to trust God in that situation. And know that Jesus is involved in your situation with you. And he's going to change that situation as long as you continue to trust him in that situation. And a lot of times... You know, Jesus is, is building you up through your trial or through your tribulation. That when you that when you come through that trial or tribulation, you know, God will have burnt something off of you that he doesn't want on you. He would have he would have given you skills and knowledge that you may have not known prior to that. So don't don't look at you know every trial and tribulation that you have as the end all, because it is not the end all. Jesus is the end all and he has overcome the world and any problem that you face, he can get you through it. And if you trust him, your victory is guaranteed. If you trust Jesus in your trials and tribulations, your victory in that situation is guaranteed. You got to keep your eyes on Jesus. You got to stay focused on Jesus. You got to stay focused on his will. Okay. Don't rush to do things because you think it'll work. Pray. Trust God, be patient, and then take action based on faith. You know, a lot of times when we do things, there are certain things that we do that we know that are not of God. You know, we rush to do things and make and try to make things happen in our lives. And, you know, and it may not be a sin. It may not be anything bad, but it's not of God. We got to wait on God. We got we to gotta trust him. We got to pray about things. And God, God will move us in the direction that we need to be moving in. And we can't just sit around and wait for things to happen and wait for problems to go away. We got to act on faith. We got to act within God's will 
And Jesus will bring us through, through that situation with flying colors. Okay, you will be blessed in that situation. You know, my claim today is that since I've given my life to Christ, since I've developed a personal relationship with Christ, every situation in my life since that time has turned out favorable. You know, there are some things going on now in my life that I'm not happy with, but I'm trusting God in those situations, and I know that He's going to turn them around, and He's going to and He's going to He's going to change things so that they're favorable in my you know, on, on my behalf. As long as I stay in his will. That's all the time I have for today. God bless you. Remember God loves you. And I love you too.